right, it's <clears throat> decal remover time. And this ABN remover decal remover wheel is working pretty good. I got a lot of that off yesterday. My goal for the day is to finish all the decals. <laughs> so hopefully I can do that and get it prepped for painting tomorrow. So I'm going to wheel off those decals on this side. Eh, I was hoping there wasn't as much, but I guess there is. And I've got all the um, those things disconnected and I'll get everything masked off that I don't, I'm rolling this, it's not spray painting, so, uh, but I do want to make sure I don't get paint on this trim because I don't want that painted. And this trim, I will paint black to match the back. And I'm going to, um, clean all the old butyl tape and caulking out that I can and put in fresh caulking before I get started. So I wanted, the key to this is to prep it really, really well so that painting is quick and simple. Because <laughs> I don't want to open and close the can. I, I know I'm going to have to do two coats. Um, I did get the front tongue spray painted yesterday. I didn't do this part because there's too many moving pieces. Um, I did take a brass brush and try to clean off the rest off of that. And the propane tank part is here. So I, again, I just didn't want to mess with that. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I guess that's it. And I will see you when I've got all of this decal off. Let's see. I don't know. It's probably seven in the morning about then. We'll see how long it takes me. Okay, I've been at this a little over an hour and this side is done, which is a good thing because I barely have any wheel left. <laughs> um, I'm going to sand this down and it feels pretty smooth. I know there's pockets of color, but this is a very dimply texture. So I don't think that's going to matter um, when it comes to the paint. And it is a lot of work. Um, it is hard. It is not easy. Your hands get tired. Um, the thing you want to make sure is your is the wheel spins up. So matter no matter which way you're facing your drill, use your directional to make sure the wheel spins up and that will keep it from coming loose. And as you can see, there's the line. Could I go more? Yes. And I might try some on the other side. But I won't get I won't get the whole side done with what's left there. So I might I put some goof off on the other side, let it letting it soak while I'm on this side, seeing if it'll scrape off, maybe with the heat gun. I'd rather not buy any more stuff. So I want to see if I can get it done without doing that. Otherwise, today I will order another wheel. I didn't think it would take two of them. Um, it does make a big mess. So make sure you have long pants on, long sleeves, goggles, and a mask. Um, it smells like a big eraser. So it's it sprays everywhere. You can see little bits of the teal paint all over the ground and so I have a shop vac and as I go I stop every so often give my hands a break and vacuum up as I go. All right I'm about ready to get started painting. I'm nervous and excited. I've got it masked off as best as I feel like doing. Uh, some of it like the trim around the tires. Oops, where are they? There it is. That's going to be painted black. And the trim around the doors is going to be painted black. I will do that after I do the red. Probably not till Sunday. So, 
here we go. I'm excited and nervous. I hope the color is good. That's what makes me the most nervous. All right, coat one is done. Um, got a little nervous at first. It looked a lot like watermelon when it went on and not like firecracker red. But as it dried, it did get d deeper. I will do the second coat tomorrow, maybe tonight. If um, I might start on the east side, it's really, it's getting too hot already. The paint just dries too fast and uh, it works better if it's not so hot. So either tomorrow morning I'll do the whole thing again or I might do part of the east and south ends this evening and then do the north and east end or west ends tomorrow morning. We'll see. Definitely needs a second coat. Maybe three. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping two is enough because I will probably have to buy another gallon if, if two will not cover it. I mean, you can definitely see through it in everywhere. <laughs> um, but where I kind of did second coats around here, it looks pretty good. I decided I needed to just paint the taillight housings. They're riveted on, so taking them off is not an easy feat. So in order so I don't see white in there, I'm just painting the housing part and just took the lens covers off. That will be fine. So round one of painting the trailer. Camper. Okay, um, oops, there we go. Two coats of the Bond Plex did not do the job. Um, you can still see, I'm not, it's not even so much the where the old decals were because I didn't think that would totally cover, but even where there aren't decals, it's just not um, opaque enough. There's not enough opacity. There was no de decals here and probably doesn't come through on the video enough, but it is splotchy looking. Um, you can still see different variations in the red. So I went back to Sherwin-Williams and I told him what happened and I said I need opacity and I need a semi-gloss or gloss. I don't like the finish on this either. I love that big bubble there. Um, so what they did was they made the same color. It actually looks slightly darker. She did say it would say gloss on the can but it's more of a semi-gloss I don't know, sometimes I can't tell the difference between gloss and semi-gloss. Uh, so we're going to give it a try. Hopefully it'll just be one coat. I hope I don't have to do two coats of this new color. It's going to be slightly darker looking, but that's okay. I held the swatch they gave me up to my Jeep and I was like, close enough, let's go with it. So here we go for round three of paint. This one looks bright red uh, straight out of the can. The other one looked kind of watermelon out of the can, so I think I'm probably going to be happier with this one. They used the same, the same custom color that they, um, they did on the other one, but they said it wasn't exactly the same because the base of the product is not the same. Okay, the second paint that Sherwin-Williams made did the trick. Um, I did two coats of it. It is a gloss, semi-gloss color. They matched to the original color I chose. Right now I look like a sleigh because that will be black. <laughs> and that trim will be black, like this one back here. But right now we look like a sleigh up front. We joked about hooking up one of the goats to the front like a reindeer. So the red paint is done. I will, I'll wait till tomorrow to put the light caps back on, make sure that paint hardens overnight. And then tomorrow morning I will work on the black paint. So some of this that I already spray painted black is going to have to get painted again because there's caulking on it and it kind of made a mess, I guess. I was a little ahead of myself of, as to what 
what all of this would entail. And I am going to paint the trim around the door black, and we have to get new vinyl strips to go in there. I spray painted the plastic inserts, where's my finger, that are, that go in this thing. I already spray painted them black, so once I paint that black, it'll, it'll all match. And I was thinking, and here's the front. We need new stickers bad. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to see if I can find some of these. They're just all terrible. I don't know if they're all needed, um, but I kind of like to have them. I am going to look get a fun decal because this door has all kinds of dents in it. So I'm, I'd like to get a, I don't know, some sort of cute decal to go on the door to kind of distract from the shape of the aluminum. And I was thinking I would have to paint some black stripes where the original decals were, but I'm thinking it might be okay. I still might if I decide I can kind of see them, but I think once we get the, um, the rails that go on there and the rail that goes there, I think it will actually look okay. So this paint was way better. I am so much happier and I like that it has a semi-gloss finish. So tomorrow's goal is to get all the black painted and then to open this up, clear it out, clean it up, and start the flooring. And I also bought vinyl spray paint for this because that needs to get to be black. So those are the two things, the flooring and spray paint that teal vinyl black, and then I can, it can all be about the pretty. All right, starting, starting to spray paint the green vinyl black. Uh, I decided it is too hard to try to tape that off, so I'm using a painter's trick and just holding a piece of cardboard up to, up at the top. And But I am masking off the bottom because that definitely needs it. All right, paint is done and we have moved it into its spot for at our home unless we're going to use it for camping. So all the paint is done. I painted the vinyl. I am hoping that it lasts. We did have to fold the beds in to move it, so it doesn't appear that any of that vinyl paint cracked. So I am pretty happy with how the paint and the black and the red and everything turned out to match my Jeep. This is the queen bed end. When this tree grows, I'll have some nice shade, if we have it that long. I honestly don't know how long we're keeping this. It may be a year, it may be six months, it may be five years. Who knows? But I'm proud of the work I did. So the next update on this will be the interior. There's a sneak peek of it right now.